What is going on guys, it's Evan here from Evan Sports Corner. and I'm back with another video here on the channel. And today, we got episode 2 of the Chicago Bears franchise, week 2 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Both teams are 1-0, both teams don't have the greatest rosters. It should be a pretty competitive game, not expecting it to be a blowout like last week's game. Should be a close, hard-fought battle against the Buccaneers. And we are going to be kicking off to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here to start this one. So it should be a good one. Baker Mayfield, the starting quarterback for the Buccaneers. See if how he performs today. Voice sounds a little different. I'm still recovering, still a little sick. But here we go. We are about to hop in this game. And the first play is going to be a handoff to Rashad White, who's going to get around a tackler right there. And he's going to avoid all the tacklers. And he's just going to go all the way. And the Buccaneers are going to be up by a touchdown on the first play of the game. Rashad White, house call. And I'm going to be honest, that was just horrific tackling by this Chicago Bears defense. Absolutely terrible. No one set the edge. No one made a wrap tackle. Horrible, horrible stuff. Now, first down and 10, it'll be Justin Fields in the offense, who started to click in the second half of last week's game against the Packers. Here's a second down and seven, and that's a great throw from Fields to his safety valve tight end, Cole Komet, who had a few catches last week for 58 yards. Here's a first down and 10. Fields looking to throw, and yeah, he faces pressure, and down goes Justin Fields. That's Shaquille Barrett who gets the sack on Fields. Here's a second down in 24. Fields feeling the pressure from Vita Vea, and that ball is going to be intercepted by Antoine Winfield. Could not have been a worse start to the game for this Bears team as Baker completes the pass to Russell Gage and picks up the first down there on second down in five. So now it's a second down and seven for Baker in the offense, and he looks to throw. He's got time. Now it's time's up as he's sacked by Walker. And now it'll be third down and 17. Mayfield has some time. Steps up in the pocket. Great coverage by Kyler Gordon to knock that one away from Evans. Remember, we're not going to show every single play. So it's a third down and six here. And down goes Fields. The ball is out. It's somehow back to Fields and he recovers it. But that was Barrett again who knocked the ball out of Fields' hands. And early on in this game, Shaquille Barrett is becoming quite the force as Tremaine Edmonds comes through that gap and destroys Rashad White four yard loss and now it's a third down and 16 here in the second quarter Godwin gets rocked over the middle by Tremaine Edmonds who continues to be everywhere on the field today now the Bears have the ball again and Justin Fields will take the read option Mooney couldn't get a clean block off but Fields is still going to get a very solid run on that outside if Mooney could have kept that block could have been a bigger gain for Justin Fields Here's a first down and 10, and Fields will hit the check down. It's Komet, who's going to fight for those yards, make it a second down and short here. Second down and inches, and a weird little reverse end around play, and Mooney's going to go backwards. A lot of yards lost right there. So it's a third down and six. Fields is going to roll to his right. He's going to take off, and he's going to pick up the first down. Levante David couldn't get him before the first down marker. Two-minute warning quickly approaching as Fields... Faces the pressure, Moore makes the catch, and he's going to take it all the way. That was a poorly underthrown ball by Justin Fields. And it somehow ends up in the hands of DJ Moore for a touchdown. Horrible DB play there by Tampa Bay, but DJ wants it more. And we have tied this game up right before the two-minute warning. What a play by the Bears' number one new receiver. He is a beast. First down and 10 here for Baker. He's got so much time. Now here comes the pressure. Down goes Mayfield. And there is going to be a flag here. And it is going to be holding on the offensive line. We will decline that penalty. Drive end up going nowhere. So the Bucks are now going to end up punting this football to us before the end of the first half. Camarada sends this one back to Khalil Herbert. Who's going to take this punt to the 34-yard line. And we will get the ball before the end of this first half. Here's Justin Fields looking to give the Bears the lead. He'll take off, rolling left, and he'll slide short of the first down marker. Clutch third down and one coming up. Here's Fields. He's got the time. Now here comes the pressure. He hits the check down route. Darnell Mooney. Good job going through the progressions there by Fields. First down and 10, 30 seconds to go. Fields going to bomb this one. Downfield might have had more. Who had a step? But Fields inaccurate, and there is Justin Fields not being the greatest quarterback as he hits the check down to Mooney, and a timeout will be called here by Chicago. Final timeout. Here's Justin Fields on third down and inches. He's going to roll to his left. Going to fire this one to the end zone, looking for Moore, who comes down with it, but out of bounds. So Justin Fields showing off the limitations as he missed DJ Moore on that 
deep route earlier in the drive that could have been a TD. Now it's fourth down inches. Cairo Santos will boot this one through the uprights, and the Bears have a 10-7 lead. And the Bucks will get one more chance here before the end of the first half. It's going to be a Hail Mary here from Mayfield. That ball is going to be swatted out of bounds, and that is half. A mixed offensive day for Justin Fields. He's had some good runs, some good plays, but he's also had some overthrows and some just bad throws in general. So we'll see how the second half goes. It's a low-scoring affair here in Tampa Bay. Here's a second down three, and the Bears will go back to Khalil Herbert. Up the middle goes Herbert all the way to midfield. Great blocking by that old offensive line right there. Here is a first down and 10, and it'll be a fake here. Field is going to roll to his right. He has space. Playmakering up the field. Looking for more. That pass is going to be swatted and intercepted. That was a terrible read by Justin Fields. He threw a hospital pass. Ended up getting tipped and intercepted. The Bucks will take over. And Chris Godwin will make the reception on the hitch route right there. It'll be a first down. Now it's Baker looking to get something going here. And he'll throw the shallow cross to Evans. Who jukes a man out? And Mike Evans might be gone. And no one's catching Big Mike. He's all the way into the end zone and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have taken the lead what a start to the second half for Tampa Bay forcing the turnover on Justin Fields and then Mike Evans with a phenomenal play sports center top 10 play right there making that safety look stupid third down and one and another fake end around play and this time it's another sack Shaquille Barrett with his third of the game he's got a hat trick of sacks here Fourth down and seven. Pressure is being felt by Chicago as they're going to go over this. Fields has nowhere to go. He's going to throw it as far as his arm can take him. And it's downfield and intercepted out of bounds. And now the Bucks have a chance to really blow this game open. The Bears offense is starting to struggle. Here's Baker. He's got time. Now time's up. He throws to the end zone. And a great play by Kyler Gordon to knock that ball out. Here's a third down and eight. Huge play here. Baker has so much time. Offensive line holding up as he'll throw to the end zone. And that's going to be intercepted by Jalen Johnson, who picks off Baker's pass in the back of the end zone. And when the Bucks are just looking for some points, Baker chases extra. And he ends up taking a massive risk and takes... And he doesn't get much of a reward for that. And that's a nice completion there by Justin Fields. Need to simplify the offense here going in the fourth quarter. Final play of the third quarter will be a throw. That will be caught by DJ Moore. And so when Moore gets the ball on target, he's been very good today. Here's a second down, Nate. And that's another great throw. Threading the needle, Justin Fields to DJ Moore. What a drive DJ is having right now. As it's a first down and goal, Fields throwing the fade ball. It's Mooney who's going to come down with it in the end zone. And that's a Chicago Bears touchdown. That's Darnell Mooney making the play. Justin Fields trusting his wide receiver to come up with the catch. And that's exactly what Darnell Mooney does right there. So a great drive from Chicago. Justin Fields looked good. Here is Baker Mayfield on first down and 10. Time is up. Pocket collapses and down goes Mayfield. That's Gibson with the sack. Second down and 19. Baker again. Dropping back. Has so much time. Too much time. And now finally pressure and another sack. Baker Mayfield hesitant to throw the ball. None of his receivers helping him out. And the Bucks will end up punting from their own end zone. A disastrous drive right there. Baker holding on the ball way, way too long. And now, some excellent field position here for the Chicago Bears, who have three minutes and 24 seconds to kill off here. As they're going to start off with a read option with Fields. They're looking to chew as much clock as possible here in the final minutes of this one. Here's a second down, 12, and they'll go back to the read option. Vita Vea not fooled and makes an excellent tackle on Fields. It's now third down and 11. Fields rolling out right. He's got nothing open. He's going to force a throw underneath incomplete. Two-minute warning is here. Bears offense on the field. They want the kill shot. It's Fields. He's going to bomb this one up for DJ Moore. And that's going to be intercepted by Winfield for the second time today. And now the Bucks and Baker Mayfield will have a chance to go all the way down the field. That's a phenomenal throw and catch right there. And here come the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They got a minute and a half to go. They have Baker Mayfield trying to lead his team to our game-winning drive. He hits Russell Gage underneath. Massive hit right there. And with a first down and 10, all their timeouts, Tampa Bay's got a lot of momentum. Here's Baker dropping back, and he's going to look. He's going to hit his running back, White, out of the backfield. White is not moving too fast, though, and he's lost the football. Rashad White coughs it up, and that is the ball game pretty much as Fields. Oh, my goodness. Questionable play calling, but 
Man, Rashad White, I don't know what was going on, but he was absolutely gassed. And I see Rashad White just chugging along like he's running a, a slow marathon. And he's just sitting there as that pass was nearly off the mark. But it's going to be caught by Darnell Mooney. And that should pretty much wrap this one up. Thank you to Rashad White for being out of stamina, getting hit, and losing the football and losing Tampa Bay the game as the Chicago Bears will improve to 2 0 here in the early stages of the season. I'm still waiting for Justin Fields to have that game that solidifies him as a great quarterback. He's still missing some throws and making some questionable reads here and there, but at the end of the day, he is improving. He is playing better football, and most importantly, the Bears are 2 0. Great defensive day from our squad, and a win is a win. We go on the road, take down Tampa Bay. Got to be feeling pretty confident about our squad. Good defense from Tremaine Edmonds and a solid pass rush. I mean, Baker was really helping us out by holding on the ball a while. Justin Fields with two touchdowns to three interceptions is not great. Rashad White was pretty much nowhere to be seen after that one touchdown at the beginning of the game. We held him in check after that. Darnell Mooney had a big touchdown. DJ Moore had a fantastic game today as well for our squad. On the defensive side of the ball, the usual playmakers came up clutch. Tremaine Edmonds was amazing today, as usual. And a great day from Kyler Gordon. He had a couple of huge PBUs in the end zone. So that's going to do it for this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.